Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your general August reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign, August 2018. Here are the cards. So on the left hand side we have four cards representing the general energies of the month. The Lovers, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. In the centre we have the, the overarching theme of the month. Normally it's one card, but two popped out when I was shuffling, so I'll read them both. Top right hand corner is love and relationships. So we have the two of cups and also the five of swords. And bottom right hand corner, we have uh, business and finance, king of wands and the magician. So cancer, a lot to go through this month. So let's talk about death and strength so you have the strength and the power to find that new beginning this month cancer and to turn your back and finish a completion phase of your life this is also about the strength card is also about facing your fears so they can't harm you anymore. And there is a kind of karmic completion in that. The fact that you accept your fears for what they are and they become a part of you. Death also represents freedom of spirit. If there's a situation that you want to end, it's saying it will in August and you will have a new beginning. There are other cards on the table that do suggest a new beginning. The white horse that death rides, it also represents purity and purification. And you will be reborn this month. Sometimes this is called a rebirth card. You will be reborn this month and it will say you'll be reborn stronger than ever to deal with it with whatever is in front of you on a relationship front or on a business front. So let's move on to the general energies of the month. <clears throat> so we have the three of pentacles. This points to success, the beginnings of success, which ties in with the death card. If you put in the effort, success will follow you. It also says that whatever venture you're going into, you will be successful at it and you're a natural. This is something that you're meant to do. It's a natural move for you, a natural venture that suits you perfectly. It's a perfect match. And you're, in August, you'll start to see the beginnings of reaping the rewards in financial terms. So it's a lovely card to have, Cancer. And the Knight of Pentacles, this just, this is moving on. This is almost like you'll start to see the rewards and you really will get the resource by being slow and steady progress by having slow and steady progress you will have financial returns this month it also says that whatever you're starting in a new venture potentially it's grounded it practically works to deliver success. This card also can warn, <clears throat> don't be too set in your ways. Because to achieve personal and emotional security, you do need to be flexible, to move with what comes at you to achieve your end goal.
Now, the lover's card. The lover's card can be a new relationship, a new relationship after a complete a completion phase. It gives you a sense of harmony, of trust. The trust between these two people gives them strength, which means that they can face whatever obstacles come before them because they're strong, it's a strong union. And it's fulfilling. And it's divinely guided. You see the divine is heaven sent. It can also be a desire for passion, a desire for emotional fulfillment, the want of a new partner. In August, there's an opportunity where this will come your way. It can also represent choice, saying you have the power and strength to make that decision which will lead to emotional fulfilment. It could be in business, it could be in a relationship too, these are general readings and to be honest the cards will say what they want to say regardless of what category I would put them in. And also, when you find a partner that matches you so completely, that in itself is fulfillment and completion. So there are many different ways to read this card. It could also be a partnership in business. You know, I noticed that you do have the two of cups there as well. There's a lot of twos. So it's just worth saying that whatever this is it's divinely guided it's blessed and it's meant to be oh now the ace of cups this is a wonderful card wonderful card the heart rules this month and it's saying trust it trust this this month drink from the cup this month for fulfillment for true happiness in every sense of the word, in every aspect of your life. Sometimes people find fulfillment from a career venture, from a successful career venture, as well as a relationship. It speaks of new starts, of happiness, it's divinely blessed. You see the hand of the divine. It might talk about childbirth, birth of a new child. And when also you look at the strength card, I find this interesting. The lady in the picture tames the beast, not out of aggression or action, but out of love, out of gentleness out of a gentle spirit. And what it's saying to you this month, Cancer, is let your heart rule you this month. Your heart knows which direction you need to go. And it's blessed by the heavens. This can also talk about, because the lovers are underneath, <clears throat> the fulfillment card. It can also talk about connections, divine connections, connections that will help you along your path to emotional happiness. Top right hand corner, we have the two of cups and we have the five of swords. This is to do with love, romance and relationships. So let's start with the Two of Cups. <clears throat> this can represent emotional growth. It can represent a union of equals. It can represent emotional balance. It can also represent reconciliation after a disagreement. 
And what's interesting is that you also have the lover's card. And he's saying whatever this is, whatever choice you make, it might well be a choice of two paths to take. You'll be divinely blessed this month. And you'll make the right decision. Also, if it's to do with engagement or marriage, it also says that with the, two, the lover's card there also, it is blessed. It's a blessed union. What this also shows, Cancer, is the importance of communication. To keep the channels of communication open. And even though I say this is love and romance, it may well be to do with general relationships. It may well be to do with business. This is a general reading. And as I say, the cards will say what they want to say. So just be open. Keep your heart open to every possibility this month to achieve that new beginning and fulfilment. Now, the Five of Swords. This card can represent victory after a battle, but what it asks you is, was it worth it? And because it's next to the Two of Cups, it may well mean, is there a relationship that you're in at the moment where you could be constantly arguing? Is it worth it? Is the relationship worth it? It can also represent, because the swords are still, the swords basically show truth and clarity of situations. It may also be that if you're unsure, if you have doubts, if you have struggles in your mind on a relationship front, you'll get clarity this month because it's sword energy. And whatever this relationship you have, and it may well be a choice to stay or go because of the Two of Cups, you'll make your right choice in the end because you've got the strength <clears throat> to do that. I do apologise, I do seem to have a frog in my throat today. <laughs> It will help you see the true value of a relationship and then you make a decision whether you do want a new beginning to find that perfect person for you. Or you start out afresh in the current relationship and have the strength to make it work and be successful and fulfilling. With the magician below, and the magician this is, we will, I will move on to career and finance in a minute, but with the magician below the Five of Swords, it kind of signifies change. So some change does need to happen in your romance general relationships with people. So whatever that is, the magician is saying you have all the tools that you need to achieve emotional fulfilment. You just need to make that choice and the magician gives you the tools to do that. Also moving on to business and finance, it's an amazing card to have. I love the magician because he has all the tools he needs, earth, wind, air and fire, all the tools of the earthly energies <clears throat> to make himself a success. But his right hand reaches to the heavens and his left hand reaches to earth. And this is basically saying that he can manifest the energies of heaven and earth to deliver major transformation and it's major transformation to get this card, you would have had to come on a huge emotional journey 
of growth, personal growth, personal experience and development, business growth and development, to deliver the new you. It is a new you card. And the Ace of Cups is saying happiness awaits you. The Ace of Cups is saying on your business and career front, you can be successful. You can achieve financial wealth for yourself. You just have to use the tools to succeed. And your career success is linked to your emotional happiness. It also talks about abundance. You see all the flowers surrounding the magician. It's saying everything around you <clears throat> is encouraging you to succeed and become the person that you were meant to be. And this is why when I mentioned the white horse, death is a purifier, it's purification process, it's becoming the true you cancer. And you have an opportunity to do this in August. And the Ace of Cups is saying, here's the opportunity. Drink from it. Take that opportunity. Grab it with both hands. And you have the King of Wands, finally, on the business and finance front. This is an amazing card. He is the epitome of what strength represents. He's fearless. He has confronted his fears. He's been through experience of battles, of starting something from scratch, of building up his empire. And now he sits and surveys everything that he's achieved, as you're doing with the pentacles energy as well. He represents fire energy. <clears throat> Passion, creativity, action. The king is willing you to take action towards your new beginning. He's saying, have the strength like I have. It's encouraging you to manifest and become king of your destiny become the ultimate success story that you want to be. He is the ultimate manifester. And what he also represents is very similar to the lover's card actually. Any obstacles that are in the way this month, it could be distractors, doubters, people not believing in what you want to believe in. This energy removes those obstacles this month. It says, no, have the strength to believe in what you are starting and make it a success. The king can change his world really to match his vision. The world doesn't mould around him. He moulds his world. He's in control. And with the Magician and the Strength card, you can achieve this new beginning. You can achieve emotional happiness on a personal and professional front this month saying that you just have to face your fears to succeed. The only other thing that I can see in the cards actually, Cancer, looking at them, with, with the lovers, the two of cups, It's basically saying that there may well be a partnership. It could be a business partnership. It could be a personal partnership that delivers happiness for you on a business front. It could be a business partnership that will be successful for you 
So either way, consider that this month because, yeah, that's definitely what the other message that the cards are, are saying. So you certainly have the vision and the capability and the tools to succeed this month. You have to face your fears, face your doubts, embrace them, embrace your fears. Say, yeah, I may well be doubting, I may well be fearless, but I'm going to carry on anyway because I believe in what I've started. And you will be successful. You will be successful in August. There will be new opportunities arising, choices to make, but a new opportunity awaits, a new beginning. And just do it from the heart this month. Let your heart rule your head this month because your heart is so intuitive and so in tune with both your business and your personal relationships that it's the right thing to do. Okay, Cancer, I hope that was a good reading for you and it resonates for you if it does resonate with some of you I'd be grateful if you could like share and subscribe I do hope it's an amazing month for you in August and I look forward to picking up with you in September and seeing where you're going so take care and I'll speak to you next time